Hello everyone, my name's Mrs Nichols and this is the third of three videos called Music Making at Home and School. This lesson is called Drum Beats because we're going to play and compose drumming patterns. I'll show you ideas of the kind of things you'll need and then a list will appear on the screen while you go and search. Firstly, you need a drum. An empty cardboard box works well and a cereal packet would do ideally or it could be a plastic box but choose a tough one that won't crack or break. You could use a bucket. An upturned bucket makes a very good drum or even if you haven't got any of those perhaps a chopping board because it's got a good hard surface for drumming. You will also need drumsticks. Wooden spoons are excellent drumsticks or plastic spoons or even metal spoons. You'll also need two sheets of A4 paper, a pair of scissors and a felt tip pen. Choose a bright or a dark colour because what you're going to write needs to show up. But before you go rummaging for this drum kit please remember to ask your grown-up if you can borrow these items. If someone in your family wants to join in and make music with you, that would be great, but they will need a drum and some drumsticks too. Here's the list of items, so pause the video while you go and collect the things you need for your drum kit. We're going to play in two different ways to create two different sounds. The first way is tapping the drum. The second is to tap the sticks across each other in the air. I'm going to play you a pattern with my wooden spoons and box drum using those actions and I'd like you to play it back to me. I'll give an introduction the first time by counting myself in and when my pattern's finished you play it back by copying it exactly and keeping it in time. Here's my little introduction. One, two, off I go. Well done. I'm sure you copied that perfectly. Here are four more patterns. Copy them in exactly the same way. I'll give a count in at the beginning and then we'll keep going. My turn, your turn, my turn, your turn, and so on. One, two, off I go. I'm sure that was very good copying and playing. Remember that you can rewind the video at any time to watch a part of the film again. Here on the screen you can see four scores of drum music. A score is the word we use for music that's been written down. Each score shows a different order of drum and stick beats. These scores are the drumming patterns that you've just played with me. Pause the video and see if you can play each score by yourself. But remember to keep every beat steady. You could count yourself in, just like I did, if you want to. Now here's a little drumming chant. Listen to how it goes. One, two, off we go. Drum with a stick or drum with a spoon. Now play a pattern but play it soon. Sticks on the drum and sticks in the air. Play your pattern everywhere. Could you hear me tapping as I chanted? I'm playing the strong beat or the pulse while you say it with me next time it will help us. Here's the introduction. Say it with me. 
one, two, off we go. Drum with a stick or drum with a spoon. Now play a pattern but play it soon. Sticks on the drum and sticks in the air. Play your pattern everywhere. I hope that worked well. Can you see on the screen now that every line of the chant has a drum score beside it? That means that while the chant's being said, the drum pattern can be played too. In a moment, you'll see me performing both parts, that's chanting and playing the drum, and you'll be able to look at the score as well. You'll notice I don't play on every single word because my drum and stick taps are always steady. One, two, off I go. Drum with a stick or drum with a spoon. Now play a pattern and play it soon. Sticks on the drum and sticks in the air. Play your pattern everywhere. Now it's your turn. You are going to play the drum part while I say the chant. I'll keep that pulse going to keep us together. Here's the counting. One, two, off we go. Drum with a stick or drum with a spoon. Now play a pattern and play it soon. Sticks on the drum and sticks in the air. Play your pattern everywhere. Now you're going to write your own music scores. Remember you can pause the video at any point to listen to the instructions again. Pick up your first sheet of paper and fold it in half long ways. Then fold it in half again and fold it in half again. When you open it up you'll see that you have two rows with four rectangles in each row. If you cut along that long fold in the middle that will give you two strips of paper, like this. Don't worry if the cutting isn't perfectly neat, doesn't matter at all. Now repeat that with the other sheet. Pause the video while you do your folding and cutting. Now you have one, two, three, four strips of paper. Well, I did have four strips, there it is. Four long strips of paper. In a minute, you're going to take your felt tip and draw your pictures of drums and crosses in the rectangles like I did. But you're going to choose your own pattern. You're going to choose when it's a drum and when it's a pair of sticks. Pause the video and draw your four drumming scores. Now you have your own drum music and you can invite your family to play with you. You could perform the chants with the scores or play the drumming scores on their own. You could join two together to make a longer piece. There are lots of ways that you can mix and match your drumming compositions. Why not take a photograph of your drum scores to send to your teacher? Or better still, record yourself playing your piece. Good luck everyone and happy music making.